7.30 a.m., so I am 30 minutes behind schedule. But um, yeah, we're gonna go head to the gym right now and hit a push day. And of course, we are three weeks out from the run, but for now, enjoy the video. Okay, of course, warm up, but just 10 reps externally rotating out this way. And then we're gonna do 10 reps on each arm rotating in. I don't really like warming up my front delts a crazy amount because they get exhausted really quick, especially from a lot of pressing. So I let my first initial few warm up sets of my pressing be the warm up on my front delt. Cuban press, upright row, rotate press. This one, you could probably do this movement alone for a decent warm up. All right, incline dumbbell press. 35 pounds, just a few, a few reps here. Just two warm up sets to get to the first working set. Yeah, the low incline puts a little more emphasis on the upper chest, but for the most part, it just feels better on my shoulders. A flat press doesn't feel all that great. And I, I would say that this is my all time favorite chest exercise for strength, for growth. <clears throat> About six reps here. One, two, three. Okay, sticking with the 90s, feeling strong today, but I had about five peanut butter and chocolate cookies last night before I went to bed. So, needless to say, I think that we're uh, putting those to use right now. So, 12 reps maybe. Let's go. Close grip bench, but I like to get a good power move in there for my triceps, because I'm swapping out heavy dips for um, heavy close grip bench on the Smith machine. All right, three sets of eight to 12, so somewhere in that range. Not crazy close grip, just shoulder width. <laughs> that first set was a little bit too heavy. So, you know, my clients ask me all the time, if I pick a weight and I can't get the reps that you have assigned for me in my workout, what's the ideal situation, right? So if I pick, for instance, I did two plates here, the goal was eight, I only got seven. Do I keep the same weight or do I lighten it up? Moral of the story is as long as the set is hard, that's all that matters. Whether you hit five reps or hit 15, as long as you pushed to failure or at least a couple reps within failure, you're fine. But you just don't want any sets to go to waste. So if you pick a weight that's too light, so let's say the goal was eight and you ended up getting 10, you could probably go a little heavier. But I think um, you could really decide if you want to lighten it up to get that rep goal or just stick to that same weight and push yourself with that weight till the very end. I don't think it matters too much. Um, you just don't want the sets to be easy or too light. That's the main thing. If you are aiming at 12 reps and you pick, let's say 100 pounds, whatever exercise you're doing, and you get to 12 but you're, and you stop and you said, well, I could do more, you know, that's when it's time for you to increase your weight. I think that's a pretty easy way to go about it. I think close grip bench on a Smith machine is like far more superior than doing it with a free weight. I think just simply because a close grip bench, usually you're doing a close grip bench for the sole purpose of bringing in more triceps into the movement. 
And oftentimes if you go too heavy on a free bar, on a barbell, your elbows will start to flare and the bar also starts to come up towards your neck to assist. Take out less triceps, bring in more shoulders. I think with a Smith machine, you could eliminate a lot of that because the, the bar is locked into place. So you can't move the path of the bar. So you can really focus on keeping your elbows where they need to be to get better focus on bringing your triceps into the pressing motion. I think I did the Smith machine at some point in almost every workout. I do want you to keep in mind, I do have the entire workout already pre-planned. So I'm not just winging it. I designed this one for myself about two weeks before uh, I ended my last phase. We are doing an overhead dumbbell push press, supersetted with a barbell upright row. And these might get a little sloppy, but that's why I put them back to back, pulling upwards and then pushing upwards and really just kind of hammering out reps. Really kind of a little bit of a bend on the upright rows, up, power and explosion. So we can go a little heavier. Same with the push press, a little bit of a bend, boom. Power through the bottom. I'm putting a little bit of like a Arnold twist to it. So starting off with a hammer grip, pressing and rotating flat and then back in. It just feels a lot more natural than keeping it out here, especially when you're bouncing. There's a little bit more risk of injury. So we're just trying to eliminate that. And then immediately into upright rows. So just shoulder width, boom, a little bit of a jolt. Now I know it's push day and that's technically a pulling motion, but it's mostly shoulders. You're mostly getting some traps, but a lot of side delts. And it's a good way to overload the side delts without having to do like a basic lateral raise. So when you've exhausted that, you can go to a barbell upright row and you're able to get a lot more weight. It's also time to go tarps off. See if we can get 12. If you do have bad shoulders, I technically wouldn't do this movement or, or more so do this movement with like the jerking motion. I would just stick to just a regular upright row. If you have bad shoulders, come a little bit wider so you can just get the rear delt benefits. I mean the side delt benefits. And just keep it strict. So I keep mine shoulder width, a little bit of a lean, boom. And this is one of those movements that not everybody really feels that great. So if that's you, you wanna do a good, you wanna make sure you have a good mind muscle connection with your side delts. So you can build the roundness of your shoulders when you come up. If not, you're gonna feel a lot of biceps pulling and you're gonna feel your traps shrugging it and your biceps working to pull that up. When you want more of a lateral, rotation on that shoulder like this versus a shrug and a lift here. That's what most people do, shrug and lift with their biceps. You just want as the same as a lateral raise. Boom. So what helps is to start a little wider if you don't feel it and go light. Boom. Boom. It's a great change up from just doing basic lateral raises. You know, those are probably this, the peak of lateral shoulder development, but it's not the only thing out there. A good combination would be grab a set of tens, something light for you, do about 15 reps of your lateral raises, and then hop into your upright rows. And that'll help kind of create a mind muscle connection with upright rows. I think Athlean X, talk smack about these movements, about upright rows, and I think a few other fitness influencers, but 
I've been doing it since day one. I wouldn't say it's the main reason why my side delts have grown. I would definitely say that they're a contributing factor. When you think about 50 pounds plus the 45 bar, 95 pounds, they split that in half. It's like 42 and a half pounds. I can't do lateral raises with that much weight. So in order for my side delts to get loaded with that much weight, you know, an upright row is gonna come in handy. And of course, I'll mention the Smith machine again. That's where that comes into play. Upright rows on the Smith machine, I think are actually more superior than the barbell. Okay, we've got one more exercise left. Four sets of just basic tricep rope extensions. And you're probably thinking, the workout's done already? That's not very much. Little do you know, I still have one more full upper body workout left in the week. So I focus mostly on weekly volume. So my workouts can be a, a bit shorter. So I've got a little more triceps, chest, shoulders, back in my next full body, full upper body workout. So that's that. But let's go wrap this workout up. Okay. Using the extra long rope. See how I can get it behind my body? That's why I like the extra long rope. Post gym, greens and creatine are in the shake. Vitamin D, magnesium, omega 3s. Every single day. Why skip a day? You might think, well, it doesn't matter if I miss a day, but why? Even if you're traveling, take them with you. I don't really think it's that hard. Um, also, breakfast, going a little bit low carb today. Like I said earlier, I had about five Reese's Pieces chocolate chip cookies that we made earlier this week, last night, just sitting down. I just took away all sense of saying no, but I'm going carbless this morning. I'll probably have a pretty decent carb, pretty decent amount of carbs in my meal later. So, you know, I compensate where I can. I'm not trying to gain a bunch of weight here, but here is breakfast. We've got cottage cheese, a couple of egg whites, two whole eggs, some bacon, and we've got arugula, and onions inside the eggs. And on top, we've got parsley, salt and pepper. It's funny how like the parsley makes it look fancier than it actually is. So that's a little bit of a hack. If you like to make your meals Instagram aesthetic, that is the hack. But anyway, this is meal number one. I'll see you guys at the, the run tonight. Uh, we're three weeks out, so nothing's gonna be super crazy. I think we might have a couple, maybe one or two more lengthy runs, but um, yeah, I'm feeling super confident going into the half marathon. After doing that 20K last week, it made me feel confident that I can complete it, but I wanna make sure that I complete it with the best time that I possibly can. I am about to try the select protein, which I've never had. So I'm a huge fan of 
PE science and a lot of the different products that they have. Um, I've kind of always been the type of person that doesn't really care too much about brand. I really care about what's in it, but I feel like sometimes it's nice to just keep all the supplements that you use, if at all possible, you know, within the same brand. But I have yet to kind of find a brand that really offers everything that I want and take for supplements. But I'm going to try their protein simply because I love their pre-workouts. Um, and I've had their amino IV before, which I'm not a huge, you know, advocate of taking like amino acids. I'm more about just getting quality protein and getting more protein so you can get your amino acids that way. But for the most part, it's very, uh, this smells delicious. And I feel like if they've got great tasting, you know, amino acids, they've got great tasting pre-workouts, effective pre-workouts, they probably have great protein as well. So I'm going to give you guys my personal review. And we've got um, frosted chocolate cupcake. And one thing I find that's really interesting about this is the fact that there's obviously they added high, high quality amino acids to this. There's five grams of BCAAs, but there's also leucine peptides, which is actually really, really cool. So I imagine that enhances the quality of the protein that you're getting from here. Um, and this is the premium whey plus casein blend. So not only is it just whey, you're getting a fast digesting protein, you're also getting a slow digesting protein as well. So I'm going to try this in some oats. I'm going to put a scoop in my oats and then I'm also going to put a scoop just with water to give you like a full review because most of the time when I take protein, it's usually not often that I take it, uh, you know, in just like a shake, you know, I would say it's maybe 50, 50, but a lot of times I'm putting it in my oats or I'm doing some kind of a recipe with it, putting it in Greek yogurt, just ways that I can actually use it to add protein to my actual food. But anyway, let's give her a whirl. I'm gonna add some uh, blueberries to my oats as well. It's a decently big scoop. 10 out of 10 on how well it blends. Okay, hot diggity dog. That's pretty good. You know what? 10 out of 10. The biggest thing for me is that I'll usually like a lot of proteins when I first get them, but I get sick of them. That's my problem. Like stuff that's just like super sweet, I get sick of. So I think maybe that's why, but um, yeah, this is a great protein. So we got a full scoop of this select chocolate cupcake. I'm also gonna add a little bit of milk. So now we've got some blueberries. All right, say hello to my new best friend for the summer. This is peaches. And by the way, the protein in the oats. Perfect. But anyway, 